Hi there, this is Danny, and the channel is You and Me Living Free. This is just a picture of me and my van. I'll give you another picture of the van after this. I don't have a name for my van. I think I need to name the van, though, but nothing has really uh, hit me. So I haven't named the van, but I feel like I'm talking about her right now. I really need to name her. Anyway, if you've got any ideas, let me know. So this is all about the van floor. I am going to show you step by step what I did. And I'm even going to talk you through the mistakes that I made the first time I did my floor and then what I did to correct them. I'm going to tell you that the floors in the Sienna, um, Toyota Sienna minivan are really uneven and quite challenging. I think you could use these same techniques on, on just about any surface that was giving you problems like this. I also want to apologize for the formatting of this video. I know it is not really right, but a lot of this footage was shot before I knew anything about what I was doing, so it's gonna be rough. We'll just get through it the best way we can. These pictures really don't even show you what a disparity there is and how much of a difference there is in height at all the different sections of the floor, but I'm not gonna get into that too much because any of you who are doing a conversion, you know these challenges that you face. Here's one of the materials that I used. It was somewhat successful and somewhat not. So let me tell you, this is continuous insulation. I got it at Home Depot. It was like $13 for a whole four by eight sheet and I got two sheets. The first one I cut up to fill this space. This is so far indented, so much lower than the rest of the floor. And there you have those plastic things that were just covering over where the seats used to be attached. This is even more insulation that I cut up because the indentions under there were even greater. And then I was able to use this as a template for the passenger side. So then I had two sides. So already I have two layers of insulation down to try to even things out. And believe me, I know this isn't pretty and it isn't precise, but it is the best that I could do with what I had. So, so that's what I did. So. The next layer is made up of this. This is the mat that you can buy on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. You know what I'm talking about to use in, at gyms and stuff. It's in half an inch thick, and it really does kind of hold its shape and it holds everything. So I was really just cutting out around to try to still feel in the depth because that part where the back seats go is so much lower than the rest of the van. And I was able to cut that material just with scissors this is what I used. I used carpet tape to secure these first three layers completely down on the bottom. So that carpet tape is double-sided. It's very sticky on both sides. I didn't want all of this moving around. So I secured the carpet tape under all of it and kept it all together. And then I just used a little bit of tape on top to hold these pieces together. And that was kind of my base. Now I want you to know, this part of the flooring is still intact, it is still working, and everything is great with it. So I'm very happy with this part of it, and I will be keeping it for the foreseeable future. Here's what didn't really work so well, is that then I took a whole sheet of this insulation, and I put it down, and then I put the carpeting over it. And the carpeting was literally just a $20 piece of carpet from Walmart that's rolled up like a four by six uh, little throw rug, really. So this worked okay for a few months, but I could tell that the insulation part was breaking down. So I was home for a few weeks. I ripped everything out of the van. I stuck everything that was in the van in my living room and my bed is in my living room. <laughs> so that I can work on the floor of the van. So when I pulled everything, there we go, we can see it's just down to the carpeting. And then I pulled everything up and here's what it looked like. That insulation was okay where the bed was and where I wasn't moving around and stuff, but it had all broken up. See those things where the seats used to hook in? Those are, are really my kind of my issue. Plus that insulation just wasn't strong enough. It was never meant for anything like this. There you can see that first part is still intact and still looking good. So I'm still leaving it. So I cleaned everything out. Then I took it away to vacuum the van and get it ready for the next step. 
So I realized I had to do something about these little these little metal bars where the seats used to plug in. So I started cutting up uh, small pieces of foam to fill in because those those spaces were two or three inches deep and they were misshapen and it was strange. So I was just trying to level things out enough so that when I took the next steps, it wouldn't poke through the carpet or or break through that barrier or hurt my knees or anything when I was getting in and out of the van. Now I probably should have done the same procedure for all of these little metal spots in the van, but I ended up just doing them for the front here where I get in and out of the van, where I'm crawling in and out, where I'm really using that floor space a ton. So Thomas, my son, helped me with this project. You can see him there. Hi, Thomas. <laughs> and so then we taped over everything with gaffer tape and where I felt like it was kind of nice and even, you can see there on the bottom kind of what we were working with. So we tape it all down. This time I used gaffer tape and I, I didn't use too much on the top layer, but we wanted to secure it up front so that it wouldn't slide around. So all in all, you've seen the layers that are up front and then the layers on top, and this is really just a layering to try to even things out. And then this is what it ended up looking like when we put the carpet on top of all of that. So this was just done. I'm getting ready to go out on another trip. I'll let you know how it holds up, but I am very optimistic that it is going to work out just fine. We made it to the end of another video. I just wanna say thank you so much for being here. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.